Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, we will tell you how to customize your website design and elements to change the look and feel of your website. Log into your account, go to my features section and click on the color palette icon to go to the design customization section. Here you will see two options, layout and page elements and color theme. Let's check out these options one by one. First is layout and page elements. Here you will see multiple ready-made layouts like classic, matrix, 3D slate, crayon, stack, Polaroid, etc. Hover over the layout and click on preview to see what your website layout will look like. Similarly, you can preview other layouts and pick the one that you believe will be perfect for your users. Once you selected your website layout, you can then check out the layout for the mobile view of your website as well. On their mobile view, you will see the matrix, responsive, and list types. Select the one as per your requirement. For now, let's select the list type. You can even customize the layout settings by clicking the cogwheel icon here. If you want to hide the background in the layout, then tick mark this checkbox. Similarly, if you want to hide icons and borders, you can tick mark the respective checkboxes here. Now tick mark the show shadow checkbox to show a shadow in the layout. Furthermore, you can make the layout more interactive by checking other options including rounded and center list. Once you have explored and customized the layout section, now it's time to edit the website elements. Scroll down to the website elements section and here you will see your website info. From here you can check and change your website or business name. Now let's see the other web elements, example website logo and background. First is your website logo, which is the visible identity of your website. Click here to select your website icon. If you want, you can select the website icon from my library, or you can upload your own custom icon image from this section. Now come into the website background. From here, you can select your website background image. If you want, you can select an image from a library, or you can choose a solid color for your background image. You can also have the option to select images from the Shutterstock collection which offers high quality professional images or you can upload your own custom background image. Now that we're done with the layout and page elements, let's move ahead and explore the color theme section. Click on color theme in the side menu to pick a color theme for your website. Here you will see multiple themes which are highly engaging and provide a better user experience. You can pick a light theme or you can go with the current trend of a dark theme. You can select any of the themes from Deep Ocean, Go Green, Cheerful Sherry, etc. in both light and dark modes. You can go with our set theme or if you want you can customize it the way you want. From this section, you can decide the colors for each section of your website. Like the header, the layout, and the page. Choose the right colors and fonts and communicate your offerings clearly to your users. Once you're done with the changes, all the edits and changes will be saved automatically. However, you can also save them manually by clicking this button here. Now, preview your changes by clicking the preview button and then click publish to go live with your latest changes. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.